watch the video about Norma in Ecuador. Not the same farm that we just learned about. This is a different place. We saw that. What did you learn? And Norma, the, the lady that we saw in the video, she is the plantation owner. Think about that for a second. Think about the assumptions we may have made. What do you guys think, or what did you learn after watching that? Talk to somebody next to you. Um, I, 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 I saw that they were just sitting there. Let's head back to our desk. Because I want to get going with the reading of this so we can know a little bit more beyond what we saw in the video. We already have some assumptions, some wonders that we have about her. So let's read and find out a little bit more about who Norma is and what she does. Would you like to take a tour of my farm here in Ecuador? First, we must get into this hanging cart that is attached to a strong wire line that goes from my home to the banana plantation. So we can cross above the river flowing between them. Take a seat. I will pull us across. On the farm that I own, there are four hectares and about 1,400 banana plants per hectare. I think I know what you're going to ask, Liam. What is a hectare? Yeah. <laughs> it is 10,000 square meters. What? One hectare? Yes. Oh, if my son works for eight and a half hours one day and spends four-fifths of that time harvesting and the rest of the time helping me with, helping me with accounting, how much time did, has he spent helping with the harvest? Oh, 
Right. Nathaniel, walk me through it. What do I do? Uh, you can't really multiply right now by eight and a half because uh, you have to convert it into a mixed number. Okay. So. To get six and four fifths. Everybody catch that? Yes. Let's give Nathaniel a round of applause. Did somebody use a different technique? So what we did was we turned eight and a half hours into um, minutes. Six, there's 60 minutes in an hour. Okay. Times seven equals four hundred twenty, which is over uh, four hundred eight. Okay, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> are, we, are, we, are you guys with us? Yes. Okay, just making sure. Do you want to be a teacher when you grow up? You should. Okay. Anyway, yes. so what he's saying here is he found the number of minutes that that um, Norma's son is going to work. Right. Well, let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> Math, empathy, kindness, reading. Are they standalone subjects? No. 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 We bring them all together. We do them all together. I don't know about you guys, but that's more fun to me. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Empathy, kindness, math, science, reading, social studies. Empathy. All important. That's what school is. You want to one big ball. If we spend time just worried about the math and, and all the content, and we forget about the kindness and empathy, I think we're doing kids a disservice. Don't you guys agree? But if we teach kids to be kind, be em you know, show empathy, and do math, I think, we, I think we're on our way to solving the world's problems. Because it kind of shows like what you can do to change the world. Because you're passing your empathy on to other people who will then probably pass their empathy on to other people and that'll slowly just start making the world a better place. I feel like I've changed kind of from within what I'm used to from the empathy videos. I feel like I'm a better person than I was before. And I like these empathy lessons because it teaches us all these big subjects in one video like writing, math, and reading get to like explore like around the world without leaving our classroom. What's good about these lessons that, that really improve our classroom experience is the ability for kids to explore. There was one lesson we did and you know we answered the math questions but then they were like hey what if we find this answer? I just like calculated if there are 15 bananas in each plant, banana plant, then she makes three million six hundred and eight thousand each year. Each year. That's assuming none of them get damaged. Yeah. Assuming there's 15 bananas per plant. That's amazing. That wasn't one of the questions, but he took that and he's like, I want to know how many bananas she has sold in a year. Both times today that they were doing a math problem, I walked around and every single student was engaged. Then you look at all the all the big problems we face, the tools that they need to fix those problems, they're getting them in school. And being able to teach empathy lessons and having these lessons available gives us, the teachers, the tools to give kids the tools. And that's super powerful. 